Well, they told Congress they would be at the table, and the MTA and the workers' union made good on that promise. And with just 10 days to the strike deadline, Long Island Railroad riders are watching and hoping for a deal. CBS 2's political reporter Marsha Kramer live in Times Square now, where the talks just ended after hours of debate. Marsha. Well, Maurice, the talks between the two sides broke up about 45 minutes ago. The union and the, and the MTA reaching no agreement. But the union did put a counterproposal on the table, something the MTA is looking at but has so far not accepted. But nevertheless, this is what both sides had to say when they walked out. We met with the Long Island Railroad Labor Coalition today. We had a very uh, lengthy discussion. They came in and made a formal counteroffer, which was discussed. We're all concerned with trying to reach resolution with this particular issue, and we will continue the discussions. We're not there yet, but we have agreed to meet. We have agreed to stay at the table, uh, obviously, and discuss. There's still a possibility of a work stoppage on the 20th, yes. There are a lot of numbers being thrown on the table as Long Island Railroad strike talks continue. The needs of 300,000 riders balanced against the demands of 5,400 railroad workers. And with Congress out of the picture, the pressure to settle is great. Here's how the debate breaks down. Both sides agree on a 17% raise. The union wants it spread out over six years, the MTA seven. The union wants no changes for new workers on health or pension contributions. The MTA says new workers should double the health care contributions made by current workers and permanently contribute to their pensions. Now they pay for only 10 years. How long should it take to reach top pay? The union agrees it's to stay at the current five years. The MTA wants to increase it to 10. Long Island Railroad workers are already highly compensated, the best paid in the country. A Long Island Railroad conductor makes 36.25 per hour. Conductors at the five other largest railroads, Chicago, Boston, Philadelphia, Metro North Railroad, and NJ Transit, make an average of 28.46 an hour. The average pay of a Long Island Railroad worker is $87,182. The average pay of a metropolitan area worker over the age of 25 is $40,000. Well, when the talks broke up, there was no date set for another session. Now, there is still 10 days, but people who are familiar with the talks say that the lack of progress could mean that these discussions go down to the wire. Reporting live from Times Square, I'm Marsha Kramer, CBS 2 News. Thank you, Marsha, and stay with CBS 2 and CBSNewYork.com for continuing coverage of all the negotiations and all contingency plans for riders in the event of a strike.